We're in Milan, and this is the Pirelli Tower. One of the most elegant buildings I know, and I want to tell you about it. Okay, check this out. So if you've ever been to Milan, you'll know that it is a city of amazing design. It really is. People here are stylish. I mean, it's, it's almost upsetting. But also here in Milan is my favorite building, the Pirelli Tower, right here above me, right there. It is absolutely gorgeous. This was built in the 1950s. It was, the architect was uh, Gio Ponti, the engineer Pier Luigi Nervi, my favorite structural engineer, by the way, and commissioned by the Pirelli company, Pirelli of Pirelli Tires. And this is done very much in a, let's call it a skyscrapers alla Milanese, if you see what I mean, which means the Milanese, the Gio Ponti, Italian, and Pier Luigi Nervi brought to this building better design than had been seen before. How is it better? All right, I'm going to go through two or three things that I've seen and that I've always enjoyed whenever I visit Milan. First of all, maybe obviously, the tapered corners. These edges, these edges over here, where they taper in, that gives it a sleeker silhouette. That's number one. Number two, notice also no corner windows, no corner offices like the Americans do. No. -uh. Number three, right at the very top, there's an offset upper roof slab, not just capped at the top, but it's sort of just offset, a little bit of shadow, very thin edge. And then here's my absolute favorite. I'm gonna see if we can show you this. I want you to look at, um, in the sort of one quarter and three quarter spots, there's the, what is actually the reinforced concrete structure going up. Now, the part that I want you to notice is that those actually taper. They get thinner as they go up. And that's not just perspective, it's better than perspective because it makes this whole tower look more refined as it goes up. And that links well with the structural behavior of the tower. You don't need as much material holding the building at the top as you do at the bottom. Over there is the Milano Centrale train station, which is an, a sort of an older, much more intricate stone building. When you come out of that, this is the building that you see right in front of you. Really a sign of Pirelli's faith in the future of Milan and focusing on design and establishing uh, confidence in the future of this wonderful city. Make sure you click this video or this video if you want to see more by Paul Kasabian. I'm his daughter. See you later.